If you hadn't guessed, that is typical French bistro music because today I am making a ratatouille tart inspired by the infamous ratatouille from the movie Ratatouille. Ooh, there's Clara. If you haven't seen my previous videos, that's the lawnmower robot who often makes guest appearances. So let's start with our base sauce for the ratatouille. We've got one onion, three cloves of garlic, two peppers, two tomatoes, and some thyme, just thrown together into a pan. And hey presto, cut forward, we've actually got to make the sauce. So we're starting off by dicing the onions. And then we're gonna thinly slice our garlic Full disclosure, I just couldn't be bothered with washing the garlic crusher, but if you can, then by all means, crush the garlic. And then we roughly dice the peppers and the tomatoes. And once all that chopping prep is done, we're gonna put a pan on medium heat and add a glug of olive oil. Let it come up to temperature and then we're gonna put our onions in to let them sweat off and color a little bit. Then we'll add the garlic and let that sweat off for like a minute. Then it's the pepper's turn to sweat. A little squeeze of tomato paste. Cook that off for a minute. Then we'll go in with one tablespoon of herbe de Provence and our thyme. Once that's stirred through, we'll add our tomatoes, a cheeky drop of wine, and we'll let that cook down on a low heat for about 20 minutes. Once it looks like this, we blend it while it's hot and get it as smooth as we possibly can. Et voilà. And moving on to a key bit, if not the key bit to turning this into a tart, the pastry casing. I'm using shop-bought puff pastry, which I'm just rolling out onto a oiled tin. There goes Clara again. Then I'm gonna prick the case with a fork to stop it puffing up too much and keep it even and crisp. And I'm reusing the baking sheet that the puff pastry came on, putting that on top and filling it with some baking beans, but you can also use just some plain rice, just anything to weigh that base down. And we're going to blind bake our base in a 180 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes until we're starting to get some browning on the edge and a bit at the bottom. So let's take our pastry out of the oven and get rid of those baking beans. And at this point, I like to trim off the overhang of the pastry with a bread knife while it's still hot, just to make it a bit neater. Now my little cheeky trick to avoid the dreaded soggy bottom is to put a layer of parmesan on the bottom of our case and put that back in the oven to crisp up so it'll form a nice protective layer between our sauce and our pastry. Pastry scraps are for snacks. And now the case goes back into the oven until it is a lovely golden brown all over. Now for the tedious bit, I've got a yellow courgette, a green courgette and an aubergine. And I'm going to attempt to slice these into really thin regular rounds of approximately the same size in all three vegetables. If you've got a mandolin, then please use it. It will make life a lot easier. Or if you happen to know a rat who's an excellent chef and loves to cook 
and is happy to control your movements by pulling on your hair, then that would be even better. Little, little nod at Ratatouille there. Anyway, I just got on with my slicing. Do -do -do -do, do -do -do -do. And finally, the aubergine. I kept it in rounds for like the first half of the aubergine and then the second half, which is obviously a lot bigger than a courgette, I did quarters instead. And now for a little bit of flavor, um, we're going to add some extra virgin olive oil, some sel, some pepper, and some thyme and mix all of our vegetables up so they are nicely seasoned. Mm. And now finally for the exciting, satisfying bit, it's time for the assembly or assemblage. So we start off with our ratatouille sauce that we made earlier and we're going to layer that all over the bottom of our case and also up the sides and try and make a nice even layer um, which is really satisfying to swoosh around. And then we're going to lay our vegetables in the same iconic way as in the movie, which is actually based off a tion de legume, which is a traditional southern baked vegetable dish. So we're going to alternate our yellow green courgettes and our aubergines in a circular pattern until our entire tart is covered. Tuck in that last little courgette to complete our pattern and we're done, voila! And make sure to keep any scrap veg that you've got left to go into a stir fry or anything like that. Now our tart's ready to go back into the oven and still at 180 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes until you've got a nice even colour on top of the vegetables. And there you have it, our tart is ready. I would hope that Remy from Ratatouille would be really proud of this and that it could make any grumpy food critic try it and be taken back to fond memories of childhood. Um, but all I can say is I really enjoyed this. It looked really special and it tasted like summer in the south of France. So I really recommend making this. Let me know if you try it and thanks for watching.